Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Hernandez. I'm a joint replacement surgeon at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. In this video, we'll be talking about knee arthritis and treatment of knee arthritis with computer-navigated knee replacement. Okay, so here we have a model of a knee. Uh, the knee has three bones, the femur, the tibia, and the patella. And all these three bones make up the knee joint. And these three bones are supposed to be totally smooth. So this cartilage padding smooths out the portions where the bones are supposed to meet. The problem with arthritis is that these smooth inner portions become rough. And then when the knee moves, it grinds and hurts. And, that's, and that condition is called arthritis, the roughening of, this, of the joint. So the treatment options for knee arthritis start off with anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, injections into the knee joint, Sometimes we use cortisone, uh, other times we use uh, visco supplementation, which are kind of like jelly lubricants. We also can use physical therapy and bracing. When all of these non-operative treatments fail, the next step is surgery. So surgery for osteoarthritis is a knee replacement, and this is a knee replacement, these parts. So you can see this is a, a metal caps that go on the ends of the rough bones. So we remove the rough ends and we replace those rough ends with these smooth metal parts. So the, the idea here is that when the surgery is over, the patient now has a knee that is totally smooth and doesn't hurt. So what my technique is, is I, I use a computer to put these parts inside the knee as accurately as possible. So the computer learns each patient's anatomy and allows me to understand each patient so I can insert the parts so that hopefully they'll uh, be perfectly lined up and last a long time and the patient hopefully will not have any pain. All right, so this is a computer navigated knee replacement and we're using a computer to perform this knee replacement. The idea here is to get this new knee into the patient as accurately as possible. The benefit of the computer is that the computer has been shown to improve alignment in knee replacement. So one of, one of the surgeon's job is to get these parts into the new knee uh, as, as well aligned as possible. And that's the real benefit of the computer is that it's very accurate. It's a very accurate measurement tool. So I have the confidence when I put these parts in that they're perfectly aligned. It's also a benefit to the patient because some of the older methods of measuring alignment can be more invasive. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, rods are used in surgery and the rods that are inserted into the bones can cause bleeding. So I skipped that step. I use this computer and it's uh, been shown to be more accurate and essentially easier for the patient to have this type of uh, alignment tool used. <clears throat> so the first step is that we have to learn about this patient's knee. So the, the computer has these little trackers. These trackers are are put onto the patient's knee and they send signals to the computer that I have in the operating room. Um, I also take this pointer and I point to the patient's knee to, to teach the computer all the important parts of the patient's anatomy so the computer can understand uh, this, this specific patient's knee and what's best for this patient. So then when I have all this information, I have all the, the information about the, the alignment you can see here and the motion and that helps me align the parts to that patient. Um, it also tells me the size of the knee so I can pick the perfect size for this patient. So we make the, the cuts and we put in this, these new parts. This is like putting a, a new set of tires on the car. So the goal is you want it totally lined up so the tires don't wear out. So better alignment means the tires will last longer. The other important part of surgery is the pressure, uh, the pressure in that knee. So again, it's like a, a tire, the tire analogy is you want those tires to be with the correct pressure. <clears throat> and this is a little pressure sensor. So you can see these little triangles, they sense how tight or how loose the knee is. So after I have the parts aligned and we know the, they're lined up properly, I put in this pressure sensor now we're checking the patient's pressure. So we don't want it too light or too tight or too loose. So if it's too tight, we can loosen ligaments. If it's too loose, we can tighten ligaments. 
and I, I use this sensor and my second computer tells me how, how tight or how loose the knee is. So I keep adjusting things until the, the pressure is perfect. So once we know that the alignment is proper, that it's totally lined up, that the pressure is, is nice and equal and balanced all around the knee, um, we're happy. <clears throat> and we take out the final, we take out the, the, the pressure sensor and we put in the final piece of plastic. And this plastic serves as the patient's new cartilage, their new set of tires. Um, and now I'm, I'm happy. I know that I'm aligned and the pressure is correct. And uh, we stitch up the patient and we get the patient going. Hopefully the same day of surgery, we start physical therapy. Uh, patient has full pressure on that knee. It takes about two, three months of physical therapy. And by three months, the patient should be a happy, happy camper doing all of their desired activities. Um, the goal is that if all goes well, that the new knee should last 30 years and um, the patient should have a happy life for about 30 years. So um, for more information, uh, please visit our website, uh, scoey.com, S-C-O-I, to learn more information about computer-navigated knee replacement.